Welcome back. If you're following along with the series, play this on the cards now. We've just cleared the quest Sleep Traps, where we fought Great Baggy. If you haven't also completed a Hidden Permafrost, the Hot Spring quest to fight two Great Baggy in the Gathering Hall, I recommend you do that now, as it'll be helpful for the rest of your playthrough. Keep in mind some of these quest names may vary depending on what translation you're using. Today we'll be going up against Volvodon, another Pelagius like Arzuros. He's a red armadillo-like monster who rolls around, who can grab you with his long tongue and paralyze you with his spit. Any weapon can work pretty well against him, but today we're going to try something fun and use Light Bowgun. There's a neat mechanic with Volvodon that I'll explain later.
So, that neat mechanic I mentioned earlier. When Volvodon is rolling forward or backwards, you can knock him down pretty consistently. His entire body becomes one hit zone. For cutting and impact damage, the hit zone is 80. For shot types, it'll be 10. And the stagger limit for that hit zone is 10 points of damage. That means that almost any melee attack will knock him down, as long as it does at least 10 damage. For ranged weapons, however, it's more like you'll be priming him with your shots. If you're using normal level 2 shots, it might take you 10 shots before he falls over, and you won't be doing much damage from those shots. But if you use scatter ammo that deals damage multiple times, suddenly hitting Volvodon 10 times isn't such a big ask. Our main way of exploiting this is by getting far enough away from Volvodon, so he chooses his long forward roll. This works especially well if Volvodon is exhausted, and he seems to pick the rolling moves more often then as well. Once we see him pick his move, we move to the side and run towards him. As he passes us, we shoot him with as many pellet shots as we can, rinse and repeat until he gets knocked out of it and gives you a pretty big opening. This can be pretty useful in multiplayer, and if you're using a melee weapon, why not try hitting him next time he tries to roll at you? Especially if you have a weapon with long sweeping reach like longsword or greatsword or hunting horn. The shockwave from hammer could even work. Just be careful because Volvodon will get sent in whatever direction you hit him towards, meaning you could knock him down straight into some lava, making it impossible or very hard to follow up. And if Volvodon dies in the lava, you won't get to carve him. For this hunt, I'm going to be switching between Water Shot and Pellet Shot level 2 based on my distance to Volvodon. Funnily enough, when Volvodon gets farther away from me, I'm going to switch to Pellet Shots. This is because since we're so far away from each other, he's very likely to use his forward roll, and I'll be able to get some hits building up his stagger limit. Just like that. Keep in mind the hit zone is only active when Volvodon is shaped like a ball. Before or after that, you'll just be damaging Volvodon like normal. Do your best to count how many times Volvodon is being shot with your pellets while he's rolling. Just keep a counter going, up to 10, so that you're more ready for it when it happens. Keep in mind that if you just want to clear the quest and don't want to mess with this mechanic, that's totally fine and will probably be faster. This is more ammo effective, but time spent is more valuable to be honest. That being said, this is kind of fun too. If he's not cooperating or I don't feel like it, I'll switch back to water shots. If you're wondering why I'm firing three bullets at a time, it's a feature of the Royal Luchoth Light Bowgun. Light Bowgun can rapid fire some bullets depending on which bowgun you're using. I'll talk more about Light Bowgun in its own video later. Now that Volvodon is down, I switch to water shots and start shooting his head. He turned away from me. He's running away. <laughs> I 
When there are disruptive small monsters in the area, or mailings especially, be sure to clear them out before engaging with the large monster. Put yourself in an advantageous situation. Being able to focus solely on one target at least levels the playing field for you. I think the Royal Lujoth Light Bowgun is a pretty good match against Volvedon. If you felt a bit put off by Light Bowgun for one reason or another, maybe give this one a shot. <laughs> Each of the Volvodon armor sets will require these materials. The Volvodon parts and paralysis sacks can be attained by fighting Volvodon. In low rank, when carving his body you can get Volvodon shells, paralysis sacks, Volvodon claws, and Volvodon rickracks. When capturing, you have a chance to receive Volvodon shells, paralysis sacks, and Volvodon rickracks. When breaking his back, you can get Volvodon rickracks or Volvodon shells. His shiny drops can give you beast tears, paralysis sacks, or Volvodon Rickracks. Keep in mind the two star quests in the Gathering Hall, Rock Slide, is part of the one and two star quests that are meant for practice, so you won't be able to receive all of these materials from them. Most notably, you won't be able to get the Rickrack from them, so be sure to do the Village Quest or the one and four star HR2 in the Gathering Hall. If you're playing solo, I'd recommend the Village Quests as they are scaled for a single player to take on. The Gathering Hall is meant for multiplayer, so they'll have more health to adjust for that. It'll just take longer for no reason. Jumpo Bones can be attained for Pelagius, such as Arzuros or Bolfango. Monster Fluids are obtained from insects, such as Banahavra or Altaroth. You can also get some from Giki, which are found in the Tundra. Uroctor Scales are attained from Uroctor, which are small monsters found in the Volcano. Firestone is a somewhat uncommon ore found in the Volcano. Dragonite Ore can be mined in the Volcano as well, and Bialite Ore can be mined from most mining spots. By default, the Volvodon Blade Master Armor has Evade plus 1 and Heat Cancel. With a couple of decorations, you can activate Evade plus 2. However, if you just swap the helmet for the cap instead, you can get Evade plus 2 without making decorations. And as a bonus, this will also add enough points to Fire Resistance to activate Fire Resistance plus 5, which is what I'd recommend. Using the cap will reduce your defense from 81 to 73, but for convenience I'd say that's worth it. It's your call to make though. The Volvodon armor is a great armor set if you want to try rolling through attacks in the volcano or desert. Heat cancel is a dead skill, but 
Not having to worry about the cool drink upkeep can honestly be worth taking this armor set just for the convenience. And fire resistance plus 5 can possibly help with some attacks at monsters such as Egnactor, Voltio, and the Volcano. If you've seen some of my Rise content, you'll also know that I love this armor set's mask as well. And I think the look of the Blademaster armor is really good. Which is good, because, unfortunately, this is an armor set with an identical gunner armor. So there's no unique or even modified armor for gunners, it just looks the same. Oh well. The gunner armor by default comes with evade plus one, heat cancel, and fire resistance plus five. Unfortunately this time, if you want the same skills as the Blademaster armor, you'll need to make two evasion jewels. That's about all I have to say about this fight. Try hunting Volvodon a few times, maybe get his armor set for convenience when doing quests in hot areas, maybe practice knocking him down when he rolls. It can help you have more control over your character and the timing of your attacks. Either way, keep it up. You're doing great. Until next time.